Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Well, well, it's Friday the 13th. Yes, it's daytime, but I was going to try to have the lights off, but you really couldn't see me the way I wanted you to see me. So I'm trying to set the mood. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday the 13th. It's October. And guess what's happening tomorrow? I'm going back to the haunted farm. And for those that may have forgot, let's do a flashback. Look, okay. Paolo, Paolo. Paolo. Slow down. <laughs> um, Fuck this, I'm holding on to you. Yeah. If we be quiet, they can't hear Paolo, us. Pablo, please slow down. Is that a wall? Which that way is it? Yeah, it's a wall. Straight. Is the wall on my yeah, side? There's something that usually jumps out. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, both sides. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like driving. No, don't scratch like that. They're going to start eating you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. You're okay. The tree. The tree. Did y'all not see that fucking yeah, tree? Yeah, I did. There's a set. Let's, oh, yeah. Now we got to get through the door. <laughs> Get out of oh, town in this place. Yeah, you wanna go inside? <laughs> I got you. Bitch, I can't see. I got you. No, okay. it smells good. Yeah. It does smell like Palo Santo. It does smell kind of like inside. We are. It's 90 to the I'm holding the rope. <laughs> Pablo, shut the fuck up. We're not brave like you. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pee. Ah! 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 Shit, bitch! Oh! 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 Fuck that. All I seen was right. I dropped to the... Somebody come from the right, you go to the left. That just fucked me. I'm never doing this again, but I appreciate it. Hey, look behind you. There's a nice track. Right, looking. Look behind you. Hey. Look behind you. <laughs> Bullshit. Pablo, stop. <laughs> Pablo, you're gonna. <laughs> Pablo, slow down, but. <laughs> this is not black people shit. Oh, fuck you. Right. I'm gonna try my best to get audio again, but if not, guys, I'll just explain my experience. You guys know how I am. On top of that, y'all remember when I said last year that I was scared a little bit. I think I peed, almost peed. Let me show you one of my co-workers, and uh, this is a gag gift, but I think this is hilarious. Let me show you what, shout out to you, Miss Diane. Y'all look at Miss Diane got me. <laughs> Y'all see these, right? She said, you can wear those to the haunted farm, and if you pee, you won't pee in your pants. <laughs> but anyway, that is tomorrow. I'm very excited. Uh, we're gonna get out there, you know, when it gets dark. Um, it's eight of us. Uh, I have a buddy. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you, Tisha, for loaning your boo to me, okay? So I'll be walking with Kobe, AKA Daddy. <laughs> the inside joke. Those that are listening that know me already know all these jokes. They already know. So they know I'm, I'm picking at them. But oh, also on top of that, shout out to Tisha. Look who she got me. Y'all are sadly off a nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> I love her. Yes. So we're going to set her back here. Yes, we are. Can y'all see Sally? Yes, she go.
anyway so y'all already know if you guys are seeing this y'all know we gotta do this shit y'all know we have to do this shit this is the way that the matrix is set up okay but if you're getting off rock it out rock it the f out we make it always going in getting off going in getting off not working take time for yourself unselfishly selfishly put yourself first i do not care if it's 5 10 15 20, 25 30 35 45 50 55 60 minutes to an hour or to a day if you can afford it like don't go you know mess your whole life up like i say or Keep your priorities right, but you gotta always put yourself first. No matter if it's in a relationship, friendship, family, kids, you know what I mean? That's a big thing, especially with parents. We got to start putting ourselves first, okay guys? Regardless, now I hope you guys have had a good arse week, okay? Um, I feel like time is just fun. I just feel like this month is going by way too faster than I need it to go, and I don't think I'm okay with that. But it's gonna be okay. Now, what else can I say? We're gonna turn these cheeks, but y'all already know after we turn our cheeks, sometimes we may have to use our what? Exactly. Period. Enough said on that. And on top of that, we're not gonna waste our time, like I say, our prayers. Our time, our love, our energy on dumbasses, stupid motherfuckers, and bitches. I don't care who they are, okay? I do not care who it is. Period. Do not waste your time on people like that. Don't waste your energy on people like that. It is totally, to me, not MFing worth it. I'm just going to be honest. To me, it is not worth it at all. Now, you guys can see that I have some decorations up. I do have some decorations out like on my little porch area. Um, I should have recorded it last night so I could have threw it in this video, but maybe I can throw it in tomorrow's video if I'm able to get some audio. I am gonna try to get like some clips. You know, y'all know I joke around. I'm gonna try to get some clips, you know, like of all the characters out in the front. I heard they're gonna have more clowns. I am not ready to be down with that. Hopefully they'll have more zombies this year and there's some new characters walking around. So you guys should see a different kind of set of crazy looking people because y'all remember the guy with the axe that he was dragging last year chasing that kid so hopefully I can catch some cool things like that just saying now I'm gonna pray for y'all please pray for me we're gonna pray for the good beings period and no matter how people treat you in life do you may talk about you don't never let this world change you at all and never give up on yourself no matter what you're going through, don't ever give up. That's something I have learned. Like, I'm always going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to always hold my head up, take my feelings, throw them in a little satchel, and I'm going to keep on moving, okay? And then after a while, that satchel is going to get lighter and lighter because all those burdens will be gone. And that's really all I have to say about that. Y'all know who I am. I just try to keep it real. I don't go through perfect S in life. Y'all already know that. And I just feel good about who I am, who I'm becoming, and how I don't let things get to me anymore. How I don't get upset over things. Especially when you put your time and energy into something and you know that you did your best and you were honest and you did everything that you can do. Sometimes things just don't work out. And if they do, they do. And if they don't, they don't, guys. But never put yourself down because half of the time it's not even you. And that's the truth. Don't carry other people's burdens. Don't try to take on other people's battles. Just try to listen, give the best advice you can give. And hopefully it'll be given back in return. And if it's not, you can still be okay. You know what I mean? Because you are the only one that can make yourself okay. And you are the only one that can love you the way you need to be loved. So y'all remember that. Seriously. I'm not trying to get all sad, but I'm just saying I love you guys. So, me and Sally are sitting here chilling. I'm about to go ahead and get this video up and ready. Okay? I'm scared, but I'm excited. 
Haunted Farm is tomorrow. Halloween's almost here and the month is almost gone. But then we get ready for Satan, I mean Santa. So that's another month of horrific fun, right? Everybody knows about Satan, Santa, right? Yeah, look, I coughed so hard I popped the brain down. But I do love you guys. Keep your eyes up in the skies. Um, say anything crazy, y'all? Send it to me. Let a sister know. I have had some interesting conversations at work with uh, one of my coworkers that really had, to me, an amazing but scary type of dream or a premonition, or she could have been in another, you know, realm or time. And if I can get her one day to sit down and just audio record it. I would love to share it with you guys. I've already asked her if she could do it. I'm not going to pressure her to do it, but if she does do it, that is something I will release because she has really, I mean, the dream is about, to her, from what she got, a, got out of it was the end of the world. So from the time she went to sleep up until the time she woke up, it was the, a constant dream. She doesn't remember waking up in the middle of anything, she, it's like she was there. And I really felt like it, she could have been there, like her soul was there, the body wasn't there, but the inner essence was there. You know, maybe her third eye just opened up out of nowhere, boom, took her to a whole nother realm at night. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can astro project and they don't know it. You know what I mean? I've been working on it. And um, that's all I gotta say about that. But her dream, and I can tell like it, it really affected her. And one part that she talks about is how she looked up in the sky and she sees like this long, long rib cage, just bones. And it's like this giant skeleton and all this dark stuff swirling in the sky. And it'll sound better come from the person that went to this realm. And I don't know if this is a past thing, a present or a future, but I really believe that she went somewhere that she couldn't explain. And she's seen some things that she was able to remember because I cannot remember my dreams at all. Like it kills me because I be going through some shit and I be seeing some cool shit. I be flying, but I can't remember everything. You know what I mean? Like, so I just think that's a blessing if you can't remember your dreams anyway. So I'm rambling. The point is I love you guys. I love, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me, period, okay? and. It's Friday the 13th. I'll see you guys next Friday.